Que pasa YouTube? How's it going everybody? Hopefully y'all are having a good Tuesday today. I have for y'all a pretty fun Yu Yu Wi-Fi battle I had with this team. I kind of just more or less threw together and as you can see, I'm finally using my mascot aka Haxorus in a battle. I have got some comments from you guys asking me when I'm going to use Haxorus and like I said, threw this team together with uh, Rockium Z Terrakion and Banded Weavile, which right now Weavile is actually currently being suspected in the UU tier. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about Weavile. Do you think it should be banned or it should be allowed? Either way, though, if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to hammer arm that like button down below. So going into this matchup, uh, the biggest issues I saw on my opponent's team were going to be the Scizor because if that's an SD Scizor, this could potentially sweep me late game, so I really have to watch out for that. And then, something I completely overlooked was this Rotom Wash. You guys are going to see that this Rotom Wash is the bane of my existence in this battle. Just thinking about it in this game is frustrating me already. So, yeah, also, Hacturus could potentially sweep if I'm able to get rid of a potential Scarf Latios or a potential Scarf Manchow, so that was pretty exciting as well. So, I ended up leading off with my Klefki, expecting him to either lead off with the Manchow or the Rotom Wash, because I should be able to get up a layer of spikes turn one, as he did end up leading off with the Rotom. I am able to get up my spike, as in comes the Krukadal. Because he doesn't have Intimidate, this kind of threw up a red flag in my mind, making me think that this is probably Scarf Krukadal, or maybe he just is a regular Krukadal without Intimidate, just to have the Moxie boost, but I am going to keep in mind that this could be a potential Scarf Crocodile as I make the safe switch into my Rotom Wash. Unfortunately, switching into Crocodile is a little bit difficult for this team to do. I did want to bring in my Gliscor, but I didn't want to lose my Toxic Orb as he did catch my Rotom with the knockoff. I unfortunately missed my will so I'm going to be forced to go for it again as he goes for the Volt Switch and he's going to end up Volt Switching into his Latios, which I am now expecting it to not be Scarf, but it could potentially be a Defog set or it could be a Calm Mind variant. Or it could be Mega as well, which uh, I'm still not entirely too used to Mega Latios in the UU tier. Like, it's still kind of insane to me that Mega Latios did drop down to UU. I know there's like a big empty space back there. It just, it's kind of like my eye is catching it and I'm trying not to pay attention to it. So I end up switching directly into my Klefki here. Typically, Latios does not have anything that can touch Klefki. So this should give me a free switch in here and I can either potentially go for another layer of spikes. I could maybe even go for a Thunder Wave or an HP Fire if I expect them to bring in the Scizor. But I thought that he was going to try to switch into his Rotom Wash, which is why I actually double out into my own Rotom Wash in hopes that I could be able to go for the Pain Split because if I'm able to keep this Rotom healthy enough, I will be able to prevent the Scizor from potentially being able to sweep me. So I do just end up going for the Pain Split here as I am going to get back a solid amount of HP. However, though, this U-turn is going to put me below 50% once more. So I think I only ended up getting like maybe 10, 15 HP out of that exchange. But it is nice to know that I now know the Scizor is leftovers, which means he's more of a bulky set. So he could either be Swords Dance or he could be Defog. So he ends up U-turning in to the Latios here as I am actually going to switch into my Klefki again as he makes an excellent double switch here back into his Krugadal, predicting me to bring in my Klefki. Now, this is actually a little bit bad because as I mentioned earlier, switching into this Krugadal is a humongous issue for me to do. Now, the benefit of him consistently bringing in Krugadal is that it's always getting chipped down by Spike. So I expected him this turn to go for the Stealth Rocks thinking that I would just make the safe switch back into my Rotom, which is why I made an aggressive switch into my Weavile, as he actually switched into his Latios, and this is excellent because now I can go for the knockoff, Icicle Crash, or the Pursuit. Now, unfortunately, he did end up missing the Draco Meteor there, and he told me he was max special attack, and after checking the calc, he only had a 50% chance to knock me out with the Draco Meteor, which means unless he had got a high damage roll, I would have lived the Draco Meteor regardless and still have knocked them out so in the long run of the match i'm not entirely too sure how game changing it was although if he did get the roll in his favor that might have been a little bit problematic and would have made this match a lot tougher for me i'm not gonna lie so i end up switching out here as he brings back in the crocodile and he's going to reveal to have the stone edge as he catches my incoming glide score doesn't do entirely too much damage which is nice and it turns out that i made a huge error on this glide score and i don't have stealth rocks so I kind of just drew a complete blank here and I was like, uh, what do? 
So I just clicked Toxic, and in hindsight, I should have switched out, but if I had Stealth Rocks, I would have got up my rocks this turn, and that means I would have had up Stealth Rocks and a layer of Spikes, so I'm going to be forced to switch out this turn. I really don't mind if he wants to go for the Bolt Switch or go for the will -O -Wisp because my Klefki is more or less just a Pivot Mon in this game, and if I'm able to get up another layer or another two layers of Spikes, then that's going to be excellent because I will be able to chip everything down, and if he doesn't have Defog on the Scizor, then my Spikes are are going to be here to stay for the remainder of this battle so since i don't have rocks on this team i need to try to get off more damage than just my one layer of spike so i do take this chance to get on my second layer in hopes that maybe he would just go for the bolt switch but he does end up making the better play and the aggressive play by going for the hydro pump unfortunately knocking out my clucky which is a little bit bad because it would have been nice to have around to potentially thunder wave the man shell but it's not entirely too big of an issue also could have saved it for death fodder later in the match but at this point i have no way to like really deal with this rotom so i have to bring in my weavile here and i have to just go for knockoff now let's say he did connect the draco meteor earlier in the match and i was at very low hp if he had left in the rotom wash and he had knocked me out i would have absolutely loved that because i think that would have actually made this matchup a lot easier for me because Rotom Wash is essentially the glue that is keeping his team together. Once I get rid of that, I can take advantage of everything else. But he decides to switch out, sacking off his Nilago. The crit did not matter. I am Choice Banded, and that was a guaranteed KO as he brings back in the Crocodile here. At this point, I'm convinced that this thing is Scarf, so I'm going to make the save switch back into my Gliscor, expecting him to want to go for the Earthquake, but he does end up going for the Stone Edge here. As I believe this turn, I double out into my Haxorus thinking that he would try to make the save switch back into his Rotom Wash because even if he does burn my Haxorus I'm still gonna get off a humongous amount of damage because of the Earthquake and Mold Breaker, Mold Breaker sorry, negates uh, Levitate so I'm gonna be hitting him with a super effective move that is Life Orb boosted and he doesn't really have a good switch into Earthquake in this matchup but he actually ends up switching into a scissor which is perfectly fine by me because i will be able to punish this and get off a huge hit if he does want to go for the swords dance but it turns out that he has defog and now he gets rid of my layers of spikes and that is kind of annoying because those two layers of spikes were starting to really rack up on his team i guess the good thing about this though is that my haxorus will be able to knock out the scissor with a second earthquake i thought about maybe going for the dragon dance instead of going for that first initial earthquake but again i didn't want him to just freely get a swords dance up and i wanted to punish him if he did think he could try to set up if he was swords dance so i'm able to knock out the scissor as in comes the crocodile i do still have some use for my haxorus in this game because i can still earthquake this rotom wash for about 60 percent damage so i'm gonna more or less just sack off my Rotom Wash here if he did want to go for the knockoff, but if he did go for knockoff, then that would have given me a free switch into my Terrakion, so I guess switching in here into Rotom honestly wasn't entirely too bad, as he actually doubled out into his own Rotom, and I'm perfectly fine with this, because I will be able to go for the Pain Split, gain back a little bit of HP, and get off a bit of damage on his Rotom, putting him in range where I think a high damage roll from Earthquake from my Haxorus will actually be able to knock him out. If not, then getting him that low is going to be excellent for me as he Volt Switches into the Man Shell. I'm just going to sack off my Rotom here because I didn't want to risk him potentially going for the U-Turn as he turns out to be Life Form. Now, if this was Scarf Man Shell, that actually would have been a little bit terrifying because double scarfs at this point in the match could have very well won him the battle if it really came down to those two scarfers at the end of it but i will be able to bring in my teraki on here click close combat and essentially just get a ko as down goes the man shell in comes the rotom wash if he had brought in the crocodile that would have given me a free switch into potentially my glide score and then we would have gone from there or i probably would have just sacked off my weeball because at this point weeball really isn't that uh, useful to me if I'm being honest so by him bringing in the Rotom Wash here I can just go for the Continental Crush and even if I don't knock him out I will do enough damage to where I can then bring in my Haxorus and revenge kill him to finish him off but luckily I am horsepower Terrakion and I will be able to finish him off with the Continental Crush it's kind of crazy to me that Cabalion is better than Terrakion in the UU tier from what I've seen and what I've experienced myself. To think that Terrakion was an absolute monster last gen and in 5th gen 
and now Cavalion has kind of taken that mantle from it in the UU tier. It's just, it's really crazy to me, honestly. So, in comes the Crocodile. He outspeeds me, knocks me out with the Earthquake. This gives me a free switch into my Weeball, and I will be able to safely go for a choice Bandit Ice Shard here and knock him out. If I didn't have Weeball, I could have then just brought in Gliscor because he was locked into the Earthquake. Gliscor is a flying type. I would have essentially beat him 1v1 at the end of the day so that is going to be the victory in my favor so good game to tracy found him on my discord if you guys would ever like to battle me then come check out my discord link is always down in the description again let me know what you guys think about weavile being suspect tested in the uu tier do you think it should stay it should go it's too broken it's not broken at all i don't know let me know from what i've seen myself weavile is a pretty scary monster to switch into man like with the coverage moves that Weavile gets, it can essentially just be tailor-made to beat whatever it needs to beat. And then you have five of the Pokemon that can just get rid of any walls for it. So if I were to try and get uh, Rex for it, I would probably lean more towards banning it. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. So with that being said, I'll see you all tomorrow on Wednesday with another battle. So later, bye. Cause my brain and heart are both tied in the knot And this hinders me from crying a lot This causing me to show no emotion But when I said I cared I wasn't joking But I guess it's too late for me to become broken For now, I'm living with no more pain Tears are hoping I'm just coasting Yeah, I said I'm coasting No more pain, tears, and hoping For real